Hi, this is John Orlando, and I'm going to show you how to set up a Google site for yourself or for a student. Now, the first thing you do is get yourself a Google account, and then that will automatically give you access to all of Google's apps, such as Gmail, Drive, and so forth. Some of the apps will automatically be activated, like Gmail, and others you have to activate, and Sites is one of them. There are a couple ways to activate Sites. One, if you're using Chrome browser, go up to the Google Apps menu, click it, and then add sites as a shortcut. I've already done so, but if it's not there, you go down to more, and then you can find the list of all of Google's apps. And you can simply click one to add. Another option, which I like, is to use Black Menu, which is an extension you can add to Chrome. And it does much the same thing. It gives you shortcuts to all of the various Google apps you want to use. Again, you go down to more, and it will show you all the possible apps on the left. And you then literally just grab and drag it to the right, and it's there. You see I have my site shortcut, and when I hover over it, it shows all the Google sites I've created, essentially all the web pages. So if I want to get to it, I simply click it, and I get to my home page here. Now I want to create a new site, so I'll click Create. Nice thing is that Google gives you a lot of really nice templates. Here you have a classroom site template. Let's take a look at that. It's already set up in a nice attractive format. If you choose it, then all you have to do is delete out the text that's already there and just add what you want. And of course, you can delete out different parts. You can change things, but it gives you a really nice starting point. So let's use it as our template. Now I'll name the site, and I'll just say Orlando's class. And I'm just going to call 12345 just to make sure no one else is using that name and it doesn't spit it back at us. Notice that you get a URL assigned to it, which will match the title of the site. Now you can change the URL if you want, but it's probably easiest to leave it. You click I'm not a robot and click create. Now to edit a page, all you do is come up to here, click edit page, and from here I can make any changes I want. Taking out boxes, changing text, whatever. I'll cancel. I can also edit the whole site by coming to this more actions menu, coming down to manage site, and I can change themes. So here you see the theme that's indicated, the blank slate theme. I've got a whole bunch more, so let's see what Madison looks like. You may not like it, so maybe we'll go back to Notebook. How about that? And I'm not so sure that was much of an improvement either. Let's just go back to the original blank slate. Now I'll go back to the actual site. I just want to show you how you would share. You come up to share. And here is the link that anyone can use to see it. Notice it's public on the web. Anyone can see it. If you want, you can change that. Anyone with a link means that it's going to be available to anyone who has a link, but it's not going to show up in a search. Or you can just share it with specific people. We'll leave it as is. Now, if you set it up for a student, you're going to want to make them an editor. Note, you are the owner by default. Make them an editor by inviting them. So we're going to invite people here. And here it's important to use your student's Gmail account. If they haven't got a Google account, have them set up a Google account and send you their Gmail address. You can invite to a non-Gmail account if the person is associated with a Gmail account. But I've discovered that this tends to get confusing and you tend to run into problems where people have not associated correctly. So the best bet is to always share with a person's Gmail account. On the right hand side you have different options. You can make the person an owner, which you probably wouldn't do. Edit or view. Edit's the best bet. Then you click send. A notice that it will notify the person by Gmail that they've been added to the site and give them a link to be taken directly to it. Now as students edit it, you'll be able to see their edits as owner, and that's all you need to do. Thanks.